It's so much lower. What is going on with my face? Mom. <laughs> Short childhood favorite treat. I don't know what's causing the liquid in that. They have pockets on either side. Smash it up, basically. Good morning. I feel like I have not put you in this cupboard for a very, very long time. But good morning. I have just come downstairs to get myself some breakfast. Uh, Nick and I make scones. I'm pretty sure I've spoken about this before. They are magic scones. They are so easy to make. We literally shovel the ingredients into a blender and it's a, the recipe is one that mum found that I'd written for a school project when I was like eight years old or something. It's quite, it's quite cute. Um, but it's a blooming great recipe. No idea where I got it from because obviously Google wasn't really a thing when I was eight, was it? Probably was, but I didn't use Google. So we don't know where the recipe came from but it is delicious. And we usually make them in the evening, have one or two with a cup of tea, and then finish off the rest the next morning with a coffee. Um, so I've got my little scone here. Mmm. Unfortunately, I can't have a coffee because there is not enough milk left, which is devastating. But I'm gonna have this, and I'm gonna pop upstairs. I'm gonna unbox something to show you because then I'm heading to the gym. Only the thing that I wanna show you is for the gym. So it makes sense for me to unbox it before I go to the gym, but I want to go to the gym. And then I need to get a couple of ingredients for the other thing that I'm gonna show you, which I'm so excited about. It involves McDonald's, ice cream, cookies, sprinkles. Oh, I'm so, so excited. Hello. So please ignore this. I've just run up the stairs. That really shouldn't get me out of breath, but it, I'm embarrassed to say sometimes it does. Anyway. Ignore this, this is a little piece of a world map that should eventually go on this wall with like pinpoints of where Nick and I have been and photos. I still need to order the photo frames that I wanna go on there. But I'm just testing to see whether this will stay up with blue tack. I think it has now been two days and it's still there and I don't know if you can tell but I think that's Africa. I say think because if I say that is Africa and it's not, I'll look ridiculous. But if I say I think it's Africa and it's not, I'll probably still look ridiculous. But I've painted it blue and white and I love how it's turned out. I really, really like it. I'm just a bit worried that once it's on the wall, it's just gonna look like a mess. But we're gonna see how it goes. Anyway, for today's video, I'm gonna be testing a couple of TikTok products and hacks because you know that I love doing that. You know I love those videos. And if you go onto my TikTok, I have so many collections, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, of like places I want to go in London, food spots I want to try, food recipes, food hacks, general hacks, products, like there's so many collections and photo ideas that I want to take and videos that I've saved to show my mum and dad and videos to show my brother and there's just so many collections. I really need to start making my way through them and sharing them with you. So I thought I would go ahead, start today. We're gonna, we're gonna try and get through them. But also on the topic of TikTok, so many of you have commented saying that you don't use TikTok or have TikTok because I obviously post to TikTok and then lots of you are like, oh, I can't find your videos. Um, so if you don't have TikTok, do you still consume short form content? And if so, where? Like YouTube shorts, Instagram reels, where are you watching it? And what do you like to watch? I'm very, very intrigued. One of the things that keeps coming up on TikTok is a brand called Halara. Now, Halara are working with me on this video, so thank you so much to Halara, but I did specify that I wanted to be completely honest about the products. So you're still getting an honest review. I have wanted to try the brand for a while because I see it all the time. The items look so comfortable and like all of the skirts have shorts under them, which is such a genius idea. You know that I love shorts and a lot of them have pockets. And you also know me, big fan of the pockets. So I went online and firstly, blown away with the options. So many cute options. I tried to get a good range. So I think I got a dress. I think I got a skirt with shorts. I got some leggings, I got a top. I'm pretty sure I've got a bit of everything and I've got quite a few different colors as well. So I got a nice good range of products which we're gonna test. I'm also gonna head to the gym in one of my outfits and apparently the material is like their own specially designed material and it's meant to be good for the whole 24 hours. So you can just wear it all day, not just to the gym. But I am gonna be wearing mine to the gym. So first item, little sports bra. Oh look, you can see that's so much better there. That's amazing. It does have um, small pads in there. It's nice and elasticated. It feels nice. There's not too much more I can say about it until I have tried it on. This is a beautiful color. Look at this color. That is not, there we go. If I put it there, you can see the color better. That is such a pretty color. So this one has thicker straps. Oh my gosh, they're so soft. 
Okay, this material is very, very soft. Oh, and this one actually has a little clasp on it. <gasps> well, now that's genius. That is gonna make getting into a sports bra so much nicer. There's a little clasp at the top, and then on the back, it's got a cute, I don't know what you call that, like a looped detailing. I got myself a dress, I got it in purple. It's got thin little straps that cross over in the back. And I do believe there should be, <gasps> it has a pair of shorts and a pocket. This dress, the shorts can actually come down, but you don't have to take the dress down. So it's kind of like, the best mix between a dress and a play suit because you can still take your shorts down without getting naked. Look at this. Doesn't it look so sweet? Oh my goodness. This just looks like, this just looks like the cutest little dress. It has shorts underneath. It has a pocket. You can exercise in it. Very, very excited to try this dress on. We'll see what that looks like. I wish you could like feel this through the screen. It is so soft, this material. Okay, I will say these leggings feel quite thin compared to what I'm used to. So soft, but so lightweight, which makes me panic a teeny bit about the whole like gripping onto areas that you don't want it to grip onto. So we'll see what these look like, but I have these leggings they have a little crossover at the front they also have a pocket on each side and i got them in this beautiful purple color oh my gosh one second oh my gosh these feel even thinner okay these feel very very thin i'm pretty sure these are these are another pair of leggings they also have the crossover in the front they also have two pockets these ones are in a blue and these feel even thinner like this the material feels beautiful but it's so thin and light i'm kind of intrigued to see what these are going to be like on i kind of feel like i'm not gonna like them but we'll try them anyway oh i see okay so it's a pair of shorts comfy cozy i believe has the little pocket on the side but then you can tie around this skirt attachment piece one second this is hard to show and it's a cute little skirt okay what the heck look at this skirt <gasps> it is so cute it's so soft it's frilly it fits nice and then underneath we've got shorts with da -da -da. does my phone fit in this pocket though because that is <gasps> oh my goodness okay obsessed with the skirt the crop top is very very nice it fits nicely um it's also soft it's got padding it it does everything you want a top to do but this skirt oh this gets a huge huge thumbs up right okay i don't know what's happened here i kind of had low hopes for these leggings because they felt so thin and i don't know about you but i've tried on thin leggings before and it's never gone well they fit so nicely. They're not like hugging in any specific areas in a bad way. This crossover is so flattering. I feel like they look so nice. They have pockets on either side so I can put my phone in there. Look, I think they passed the squat test. I'm looking in the mirror and I, I'm pretty certain they passed the squat test. I don't understand what this material is, but it is the softest, most comfortable, like forgiving material. Next outfit, second pair of bottoms, second top. This is what it looks like. The color is absolutely beautiful. The only thing I will say is that the pad inside, I don't know if it was just in transit or the way that it's been bent, but it's sort of got a bit of a crease here, which seems visible from certain angles. I love the fit of it. It's got the cutest back to it with this crossover. And obviously, as I showed you at the top, it's clipped in. It looks so nice. It is so soft. The second pair of leggings. The purple pair feel ever, ever so slightly thicker than this pair, but these are still very, very forgiving. They fit really nicely. I love the crossover at the front. Let's squat test them. I'm pretty sure they pass. I'm really impressed because they feel really lightweight when you pull them out of the packet, but they are just so soft and cozy. And now I get to try on my dress. It's so cute. Okay, I love this little dress. And dun dun dun, shorts. I have shorts on underneath with dun dun dun, a 
side pocket. This is what it looks like from the back. I can see why so many people have been raving about this brand on TikTok. I get it. So this is my cute little gym outfit that I'm gonna head to the gym in. I've got my, I think they're called Cloudful leggings. It's stretchy, forgiving, breathable, soft, silky, like there's so many words to describe it. I'm gonna quickly pop my hair into plaits. I'm gonna head to the gym, then I will be heading to the shops to pick up some things for the next hack which I'm I'm I think is the one I'm most excited about because it includes food I'll have a link down below to everything that I purchased let me know if you do get anything or if you already have anything from Halara because I know that a lot of people have tested the brand um and yeah I'm gonna head to the gym also very quickly I got everything in a size medium and it fits perfectly and I'd say I'm like a size 8 to 12 depending on the day the outfit what I wear like I'm a general medium, so they are, I'd say, true to size for me. Hello, welcome back. I have just filmed this clip about four times. Let me spit my gum out, one second, one second. There's a little bin, like a car bin that I've seen on Amazon that I really, really want to get because it looks so cute. At the moment, I just have this bag, which I would show you, but it's filled with like gum and grossness. First of all, I need to head to Tesco, then we're going to McDonald's. So the next hack I saw quite recently, I'm pretty sure I actually saw this on Instagram, not TikTok these women in the front of their car they've got a lunch box and they put in it mcdonald's ice cream they smush in the cones then they add a cookie then they add chocolate sauce then they add sprinkles and it looks incredible i'm also thinking that can then be frozen and re-eaten um so i bought the lunch box the sprinkles and the chocolate sauce yesterday and then i need to grab a cookie but i wanted to get a fresh cookie for this so i'm gonna get a cookie on my way to mcdonald's and also i'm gonna buy some ice cream cones this looks really weird there's people walking past <laughs> to go to the gym and i'm just talking to my camera i feel like i should get my phone out and pretend i'm talking to my phone um he's definitely just looked me dead in the eye that is so awkward i don't think the uk have cones in mcdonald's anymore because i looked up the dessert menu last night and the american dessert menu show uh mcdonald's with cones but the uk ones only show mcflurry so i'm gonna go and buy some cones just in case very much tmi but just to keep you updated no sweat patches which is good hello that's okay amazing thank you so much you too this is almost impossible to show the lighting does not like me but ice cream number three going in whoop okay so i've put one cone per ice cream in there and now we just have to smash it up basically so i'm gonna film on my phone me attempting to smash this with this spoon which by the way a very very flimsy spoon this spoon is not very good at smashing this is not easy would highly recommend bringing a proper spoon this is all smashed up she did say to leave a couple of chunks in there so i've left it quite chunky now i'm gonna add a nice cookie to it i'm gonna put another one in and i'm just gonna crumble this one over the top like this okay mistakes have been made because i now have cookie all over my hand this is where we're at my passenger seat is an absolute mess <gasps> where are my spring i found my sprinkles my mcflurry is very very much melting at this point and now we add chocolate sauce oh gosh that comes out fast and some sprinkles chocolate sauce and sprinkles and dig in it is very very difficult to eat with these silly little spoons was it worth the mess? I don't know. I feel maybe I'd rather just get a Galaxy McFlurry, but at the same time, it was delicious. And you don't know whether you're gonna like get like the crispy bit of the cone or the chewy bit of the cookie. And some of the cookie then went cold and went crispy itself. And it was, okay, texture wise, delicious, amazing. Taste wise, obviously great, it's McFlurry. Mess wise, I think if I had my own fork with me and could smush it up, I could do it a lot quicker and it wouldn't have melted so much. Now it's in a lunchbox, which means I can pop home with it, put it in the freezer and then I've got it anytime I want. I will try and update you on how this is later this evening. It isn't quite raining. It might be raining. It's potentially raining. <laughs> this day started out so well. It was so sunny. I was like, oh yes, the first sunny day in like four weeks, but no. It has changed back to rain. Anyway, so the next, I don't know whether to call it a hack or a recipe or what, 
but I saw someone on TikTok testing out childhood favorite snacks and this one included, I didn't know which chocolate bar it was. So I got one lot of Mars bars and one lot of Snickers. I love me a Snickers bar. Basically you take the chocolate off the chocolate bar and then you roll up this squishy nougat bit. Um, and I know, that, I know that this nougat in this one is a little bit more, hence me getting the Mars bar, but I do prefer a Snickers bar. Sorry, Mars bar. You're meant to roll up that gooey bit in the middle and then coat the outside with M&Ms and then eat it. I'm going to open this. And basically she said as a child, she'd bite it off, but I'm just gonna chop it off. Oh, wow. Okay, I did not realize a Snickers bar had such a teeny amount of nougat in it. That's why it tastes so good. Look at all the nuts. Wow. Look at all of the gooey section with the nuts. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'm very glad I bought the Mars bars. I was clearly correct in my thinking. Oh, there's still not even that much in there, but there's definitely more. I'm gonna chop off all of the chocolate and chop the chocolate off the bottom. That's a pretty clean cut of chocolate just there. Oh, wow. That is sticky. It is mainly the sticky part. We're just gonna roll this. Ooh! Oh, it feels like putty. Oh my goodness. It feels just like silly putty. So then you stick the M&Ms around it. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited for this. Wow, this is requiring so many more than I thought it would. They're holding nicely though. No, they're not. They're popping off. <laughs> oh no, wait. Oh no! I can see why that was someone's childhood favorite treat. I can imagine that was a mess to make as a child though if you didn't have a chopping board. Oh, the sun's coming out, hello! If a child's making this, bear in mind they've bitten the chocolate off the bar so they haven't even chopped it. I can imagine this is a sticky mess. Currently my fingers are a little sticky but it's not that messy. And it was very much like putty, which I adore. And now we're just gonna bite into this. That is amazing. Yeah, no, that is, that is so good. That gets the biggest thumbs up. Okay, please go grab yourself some M&Ms and a Mars bar and try that. That's really, really tasty. I did use the crispy M&Ms, which are, in my opinion, superior. It has been a little while and this has sort of frozen, um, but it's also sort of, mushy i don't know what's causing the liquid in there i think it might be the chocolate sauce um and also the cone is no longer crunchy it's like falling apart and gooey i'm gonna i don't know why i've got a fork and not a spoon but i'm gonna try some of this it still tastes absolutely delicious it is still delicious it will be going back in the freezer we will be eating that for dessert on some form of day where ice cream is called for and yeah, I give that a thumbs up. If you have like a group of friends or you've got a family and you've got kids, getting a big lunchbox with ice cream and cone and cookies and like mushing it together just seems like a fun activity. And then just sort of all sit around as like a family and eat it, it just seems, I, I really like it as an idea. I think it's a really good idea. Okay, final thing I'm gonna try and I've left it till the end for good reason. Yeah, sunshine. The clouds are going away and the sun is just bright in the sky. That makes me so happy. We may be through the worst of it with the cloud, unless the cloud is coming this way. No, I think the cloud is coming this way, you know. The next thing I'm gonna try, I'm gonna film it vertically, but I'll insert the footage. Um, but I have tried so many times to use this brow gel and I remember people going on and on and on and on about how good this brow gel was. And I swear I've seen people use it and they go, Whoosh and their brows just stick up and all is brilliant in the world. I have tried so many times, my brows will not hold with this whatsoever. I've done soap brows once and I know I realize a lot of you watching this are like, I don't like that trend anyway, I hate it, I think it looks disgusting, I get it. I kind of like it and I'm not one to go with makeup trends but I quite like the look and I just wanna try it but I can't seem to get it to work with this. So I heard people talking about the e.l.f. brow lift, so I found a little tub yesterday and I'm gonna go ahead and try and get my brows to stick up. Maybe I'm using it wrong, but look, it does not hold up my brows. They just fall straight back down. So I bought the e.l.f. one, it looks like this. And I am not a makeup girly, so don't expect this to look good. I just wanna see if it works. They've said to coat your brows, like such and then 
brush. My brows are sticking up. Wait, what? What if I... I mean, it's taken off loads of my makeup because you're meant to do this before foundation, but still, they definitely need a little shaping, but they actually stay up. Let's do the other one. Oh, it's so easy. It works, it works. Why is this brow so much lower than the other one? Get up, <laughs> stand up. I saved this product until the end for a reason because now I look like this. Um, and also, my this brow is so much lower. I feel like I need to get some form of Botox up here to like get it to stay up. Like it should be like this, but it's just, it's so much lower. What is going on with my face? Hello. Um, sit up there, please. Anyway, okay, 100% works compared to the got to be. I don't know if I got a fake one, but I saw people using it and it just worked. It never worked for me. The e.l.f. one does. It's six pounds. Yes, I am in love. I still have my leggings on. And look, there's no bunching around the knees. That's one thing. I was kind of expecting the more I wore them, like, throughout the day, for there to be a bit more, like, bagginess in them. They still fit perfectly i'm very very impressed with these leggings like i'm not just saying that the brand didn't ask me to say that i'm genuinely just saying they're really comfortable they fit really nicely so i'm gonna have the brand linked down below along with like all of the pieces that i bought these are definitely one of my favorite these purple leggings i think they're the cloudful crossover leggings again i'll have that down below don't forget as i asked at the beginning to let me know what short form content you watch and where and what you like to watch and all of that because i am genuinely intrigued to see what you like watching and i will try and start posting my short form content elsewhere other than tiktok because i do know some of you don't have tiktok but aside from that i hope you did enjoy and i will see you very soon bye